It's about 6.30 in the morning right now and uh, we are off for our very epic adventure with the Proton e 7 and we know this is a very efficient EV and what we have right here is the e 7 Prime the base pack model that has a WLTP rated range of 345 kilometers on a single charge but can it deliver close or even exceed that figure? There's only one way to find out and we're going for a road trip with the e 7 Prime with four adults on board Can we make it? Whew. One way to find out. Starting from Proton COE in Shah Alam, we are taking this road trip down south to Malacca and then we will go through Port Dyson on our way back to Shah Alam again. The entire journey was streamed live on TikTok and we have Pronet's Chief Branding Officer Salawati Muhammad Yusof and Pronet's Product Expert David Tia with us for the entire trip. We are not doing any crazy hypermelling techniques and we drove this EV normally with the air conditioning switch on. to Malacca and we are now at Proton EMA showroom by NHL Auto and the Proton EMA 7 Prime did it very efficiently with an efficiency of 10.8 kilowatt hour per 100 km that's crazy low with four passengers on board and we arrived with 63 percent battery remaining and that's after driving a distance of 152 kilometers in two hours and 20 minutes in theory based on these numbers I think we can do 400 but anyway, let's see whether you can beat the claim 345 kilometers of WLTP range. During the trip, we made a number of stops, but there's no charging in between. So this will be a single charge challenge. We finally made it here in Proton COE in Shah Alam and the Proton e 7 Prime is truly impressive and it didn't only meet but also exceeded its WLTP rated range and to recap this entry level e 7 EV has a 49.52 kilowatt hour battery with a WLTP rated range of 345 kilometers and we did 352 kilometers on a single charge with 13% battery to spare and according to the trick computer, we still have 40 kilometers range remaining. So on in paper, I think you can do close to 400 kilometers on a single charge with sensible driving. And what we learned over here is that the e 7 Prime, despite being the entry level model, is very easy to drive efficiently. And with sensible driving, you can actually meet or exceed the WLTB figures. And to remind everyone, we did this trip with four adults on board 
and the aircon's also running. So there you have it. We challenged Proton, they accepted it, and they truly deliver on its WLTP promise. What do you guys think of the EMA 7 Prime? Let us know in the comment section down below. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye.